damn cable up in the air through the tree and over there with the where we had a uh, pad mount. Pulling our flat line in. Another riser gone south from what we have here also is I don't know if you can see that. That's where the old riser and uh, the cable came to. So that's where they put the uh, temp cable hooked up inside that door right there. There's a riser. Some done a fine job of this. Through the trees and all the way over here. Got a blown up riser. Look at that thing. These guys are trying to cut into 4.8 kV, thinking it's 120. And hopefully they survived the rental off. been cutting it clear as you can see right here all right so we're here to finish the job off we already took the cable out and we took the old riser down we're gonna rebuild it anyways <clears throat> so as you can see this one's all burnt up also we're gonna use the spare because last time on that other one it was really bad we had to swap it a lot of times. This is like our fourth one in uh, a couple of weeks. These guys think it's low voltage, but this is 4,800 volts between the phases. All right, stand by. All right, so we're gonna use the uh, the spare con uh, conduit, the duct. So we're gonna put a mini swab on there just in case that uh, some debris, trash, dirt is in there. So this is what we're gonna do, pull it with the flat line uh, mini swab. Instead of usually we will do it with the steel choker, things like that where we pull real hard with it. But we just wanna make sure, and that's the spare duct that we're gonna be using where the flat line is and uh, get her done. That's still the old cable that's there. We're gonna eventually pull it out in, in a little while. All right, stand by. All right, so we put the little uh, airplane sling here. Oh, yeah. you are, we're gonna pull it by the gills out? Yes, yeah, we might are. as well. Okay. There she is. You got her good, huh? That's yeah, good. I want me to do it again so you can No, 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 it. that's cool. Okay. Okay, we're getting her real close. The closer we get it to the pole, the better and straighter she goes out. All right, what's up? Here 
here's some of the stuff we've taken off so far. And here's the cable pretty much blown up. Put that little light swab on the uh, flat line nothing major just to clean it out it pulled out nice and clean so we could pull our new cable in and as you see here's our makeshift temp cable all right so we put our light swab on here and it, as he pulls it and we pull it through the conduit it's going to start cleaning up all right There it is, all right. Feed the rope, feed the flat line. Taking out the remnants of that old cable. Careful. Bring it down. All right, here we go. And this one ready to go. We got our mirror still on there to slip the cable up the pole when it gets there. And it'll have the extra for the pot heads. All right, so we're getting everything squared away. Building the riser. Check, cover the line. Cover the line, check. All right, we're almost done with the riser. So we can pull that cable in and we put the uh, cross arms there so we can protect the riser when we start pulling a little strain on there. We won't squeeze it or pinch it. All right, all right so we're ready to take our cable in. We already got the riser all built and once again we're protecting it with the cross arms right there. All right here we go. Let's get pulling it in. All right, here we go. Took a strain on it. We're gonna pull the cable in now. Yeah, you. Yeah.
like taking it slow, slow. And he's gonna drop it off. See that? In the hole! Yes, that's it. Got her. All right, so what he's doing now is uh, he's gonna make up and prep for the uh, whole back grip. What he's doing. And uh, once he does that, we'll set the grip. This way the uh, whole back grip is holding the cable from sliding down. All right. She's all done. Left our slack up there. And she's all good. These guys are cleaning up over there. And to the next job. <laughs>